Leinster on Friday. Is, this is your your home hometown, is it? You're, you're going yeah, back to. Yeah, it's my hometown, my old club. It's the only club I've ever played played for before. London Irish played three seasons there, so massive game. You know, not just for me, but for the club. It's a very important game for us. Yeah. Have you um have you got family coming along to to watch the game? Oh yeah, all my family and friends. You know. Dublin, so there's about 80 of them coming at this stage now. So, 80 of them? Yeah, yeah. so uh, that'll be good. We'll have some good London Irish support there. Yeah. Are they going to be supporting they have London to. Irish? They have yeah. To. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, Leinster, European champions. Um, have you have you got friends still who play for the club from your I time? Do, yeah. yeah? Well, my old schoolmate Leo Cullen is their captain we room together at school so uh, really yeah. yeah and obviously there's four or five guys who uh, I used to play with still there Brian O'Driscoll Shane Horgan um, and Mallow Kelly still there so there's a good crew of guys there so look forward to catching up with them for a beer after yeah and Leo of course plays in your position as well yeah, so you'll yeah. be in direct oh, yeah, competition we'll be competition so it'll uh, yeah, it adds a nice bit of spice to it. Have you come up against each other yeah, before played much? Yeah, for, for, played for Leicester for uh, two seasons, so uh, we played them here at London Irish a few times. Yeah. Okay, and are you are you meeting up with him at all afterwards? Or yeah, well, we've got to go to uh, one of our best buddies is getting married on the Friday and he's having a party on the Saturday, so we're going to go to that after the game on the Saturday. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, um, now obviously... Leinster had a terrific result last week. Did you uh, did you get a chance to, to see the video? Yeah, about? we've dissected it, and uh, yeah, it was nearly a complete performance from Leinster. Uh, they, you know, really just destroyed Monster. They were very dominant. The scrums, the lineouts, and you know, the rock and roll. So uh, you know, it really kind of heightened what we are facing on Friday. Yeah. Uh, now you've. Um, Obviously, you've got British Lions in the backs as well. Um, you, where do you feel the main threat's going to be? Do you think all over the park? All or, over or the park. I mean, I think they have nine either current British Lions or former British Lions and internationals throughout the team. So we know it's a massive test for us across the park and uh, there's no one area you can pinpoint where where they're going to do damage. They can do damage from anywhere. Yeah. They've also, I think last year, they were the, the best... They had the best uh, defence in Europe, or one of the, one of the best defensive records. Uh, you're you've got a good defensive record as well, but you're also known both sides for playing expansive rugby. Do, what sort of a game are we going to see? Do you think? Will it it's, be? It's very hard to say because the conditions will dictate a lot on a Friday night, and the forecast, funnily enough, for Ireland is not good on, on Friday night. <laughs> so that might limit both teams the way they're going to play, but. You know, it good conditions and it could be an unbelievable game. Both teams love to throw it around and, and as you said, we have the, we have the best defence in the Premiership but I think they have the best defence in the Heineken Cup. So, two very good defences and, uh, you know, it's who gives in, who breaks first. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you've uh, you also lost uh, Adam Tombstone. How much of a blow is, is that just before this yeah, game? Yeah, we're, you know, we're gutted for Adam. He was in a lot of pain Friday night. and He's been brilliant for us last season and this season. And he's a big blow. You know. But uh, thankfully, we've got a great squad squad here at London Irish. And uh, we've got young Tom Homer to come on, um, who was brilliant for England uh, under 20s in the, in the summer and was great for us last season. Yeah. Now, um, Obviously, this season you, the, the the backs have been getting a lot of praise with the, the amount of tries you've been getting and the scrums, but the the lineouts as well has been working very well for you, haven't they? You you and Nick have been yeah yeah we're, we're, we pride ourselves on our line out here at London Irish. We used to have the top defensive and attacking line out, and uh, this season we're probably maybe third or fourth. So we're looking to improve on that actually. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a big area Friday night with the conditions, how much disruption we can do on their ball, and we've got to make sure we win some quality possession for our for our boys. Yeah, and obviously the chance to impress with um, in, possibly with international recognition as well with Ireland. If you, what are your own aspirations there? Well, I, I, you know, I got capped twice in the summer, and uh, I was injured then for the for the for the rest of the summer, so I wasn't involved in any of the training camps. But you know, I just got to keep plugging away for London Irish, and we'll see what happens.